Years ago, there was no difference between concentricity and runout. They had the same definition. Over the years, this has changed. However, you can still use runout measurement to verify concentricity. Whether you're doing a circular or total runout check, you're using a single point indicator and you rotate the part and look at the full indicator movement, which used to be called total indicator reading. Concentricity now is defined as the variation that we have in the derived median points. Well, to derive those median points, you need opposed indicator readings to find those median points. And the tolerance zone isn't on the surface like it is with runout, it's in the middle. So if I look at a runout inspection where I have a single point indicator and compare it to concentricity, as I rotate the part and see the indicator movement, the center or derived median point has moved down an amount equal to the amount of the circular or total runout. So in this first case I have a feature that is perfectly cylindrical so all I am seeing with my indicator is the concentricity error. This feature is perfectly concentric but it's not very round or cylindrical so all of the reading I'm seeing is form error, circularity or cylindricity. So when we do a runout check, whether it's circular or total, and you can check other tips to see what that difference is, you're really seeing a combination of form error and concentricity. Add them together roughly and you get your runout. Now for people that pick pepper out of fly poop, this isn't always exactly correct because you may have like a three-lobed glystic where there would be a slight difference in the readings. But for those of us working in the real world, this is pretty good. The concentricity error must be less than or equal to the measured total runout. So, if the total runout measurement does not exceed the specified concentricity tolerance, the part is good. No need to double the measurement or divide by two. But why not just forget about concentricity and use runout? It's easier to verify and also controls the form. My philosophy, when in doubt, use run out. I'll see you next tip.